Greetings, welcome to this new video about nodal analysis or node voltage method. Solve the problem number 5. Let's consider this network consisting of 4 resistors labeled R1 through R4 as well as 2 independent current sources IA and IB. The question now is to calculate the voltage values at the nodes. Let's move on to the solution. First, let's start by labeling all the nodes in the circuits. And I will consider this node as node 1 and this node as node 2. After, we will assign the voltages V1 and V2 respectively to those two nodes. Next, we need to select a reference node in the circuit. The reference node is typically chosen as the node with the most connections or as the ground node. Let's assign now arbitrarily the, current, the currents in each branch. And I will consider I1 is the current through the resistor R1, and I2 is the current through the resistor R2, and I3 is the current through the resistor R3, and I4 is the current through the resistor R4. Next, we will proceed to apply Kirchhoff's current law in each node. Let's start first with node 1. By applying Kirchhoff's current law at node 1, we can write I1 is equal to IA plus I2 plus I4. And at node uh, 2, we can write I3 is equal to IA plus IB plus I4. According to Ohm's, to Ohm's law, the current can be expressed as the voltage difference across a resistor divided by the resistance. This implies that the currents can be determined by the following equations. I1 is equal to 0 minus 1 over, I, uh, over R1. I2 is V1 minus 0 over R2. I4 is V1 minus V2 over R4. And I3 is V2 minus 0 over R3. By substituting A, B, and C in 1, we can write negative V1 R1 is equal to IA plus V1 over R2 plus V1 minus V2 over R4. By replacing the resistors and the current with their numerical values, we obtain negative V1 over 10 is equal to 6 plus V1 over 5 plus V1 minus V2 over 2. If we combine all the terms of, of this equation into a single denominator, we obtain the following equation. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain finally 8v1 minus v2 plus 60 is equal to 0. And now by substituting c and d in 2, we can write v2 over r3 is equal to ia plus ib plus v1 minus v2 over r4. And by replacing the resistors and the current with their numerical values, we obtain V2 over 4 is equal to 9 plus V1 minus V2 over 2. And if we combine all the, all the term of this equation into a single denominator, we obtain the following expression. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 3V2 plus 2V1 plus 36 is equal to 0. Now, by performing 4 minus 4 times 5, we derive one equation in terms of V2. Finally, we obtain V2 is equal to 84 over 7, is equal to 12 volt. Let's move on now. From equation 5, we have negative 3V2 plus 2V1 plus 6 is equal to 0. That means, uh, if we replace V2 here by 12 volt, we get 
negative 36 plus 2 v1 plus 36 is equal to 0. That means v1 is equal to 0 volt. After completing the calculations, we conduct a simulation using SPICE to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. This is, is our network drone in SPICE simulator. This is, is the independent current source IA and independent current source IB, resistor R1, R2, R3 and R4. I connect here a voltmeter in order to measure the node voltage V1 and this voltmeter in order to measure the node voltage V2. Let's move on to analysis, this uh, analysis, calculate nodal voltage. We can see here that V2 is equal to 12 volt and V1 is equal to 0 volt. Upon completing the circuit and simulation, we can clearly observe the similarity between the simulation and calculation results. This serves as a validation or verification of our work. Alright, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time in another video. Take care and bye-bye.